Did you know that on Google Ads, you can actually target people based on the websites that they may have visited in the past? You sure can with custom segments. And today we're gonna learn how. According to Google, the actual targeting is that you can enter specific website addresses that your ideal customer might visit and that your ads will reach people who browse websites similar to the URLs you enter. And they make another clarification saying, note, this doesn't mean your ads will show on those URLs. So we're trying to find people that have visited the URLs. This isn't for a placement, right? We wanna get that intent. So the example we'll use here is for our podcast, Marketing O'Clock. It's a digital marketing weekly news show. So we would want to find people who are interested in news, that consume news regularly. And there's a couple major sites out there that provide digital marketing news. I can think of Search Engine Land and Search Engine Journal. So we can start there and build an audience around people who have visited those sites. So first up, we're gonna need to go to our audience manager. I've already got this set up here. You can find it quickly in your tools and settings. Just head over to audience manager up there. And we're gonna make a new audience today. Um, we're gonna call this a custom segment. And this will be digital marketing news URLs. And to do this, we're gonna build a new custom segment. We can set it up right here. And we'll call this the digital marketing URLs. Okay, so what we wanna do here is we do not wanna use the pre-configured settings here. Uh, you actually want to go past these and go down to see people who browse types of websites. And in actuality, I'm going to X out of that first one. I don't want those ones. So I really want to add in people that are specific to digital marketing news. So I'll type in here, search engine land, my favorite. I'm biased, I'm right there. Um, and then we'll also put in search engine journal.com. So we now have two main URLs that are very digital marketing news focused. These URLs match our product, which is news in the podcast and video format, really which neither of these sites actually cover. So it also makes a, a, a nice fit. There's no podcast there. And we can then go on our way. Before I do that, I just want you to know that you can use the root domain and you can also try to use a specific page if you're looking to do this. So let's say that there's you're a commercial brand and you want to target something on, let's say it's a, a Home Depot, but only in a specific section. You don't have to put in the homedepot.com. It could be something like homedepot.com forward slash rentals, you know, if you're a rental company, let's say. So you can use full URLs, does not have to just be the root domain. And last pro tip here, less is more. When you're putting these URLs in, if I start putting everything under the sun here, SEMrush, Moz, Ahrefs, all these other uh, items that have blogs that could be considered digital marketing news, I'm not really going to be able to see which one is working more than the others. So we can see in the side here how big this audience actually is right now. We can try to slim it down by choosing a different country. So I'll put in United States here. But when you put too many websites in, it makes it very clumpy. And it's really hard to see if a certain type of website is working more than others. So sometimes I'll make these custom segments with just one website at, in there at all. Like in that, when I want to add another one in, I'll do it in a different ad group. So then I can see that data related specifically to that individual website. But we've got these two in here. I'm comfortable with it. Looking at these impressions, there's no shortage of them. If anything, I might say, hey, you know what? I want to do more search engine land because it's a little bit less on the social side. It's more kind of search related. That's what our podcast is like. Let's just hit hit save on this case. And now we've got this in. We're going to save our new audience. And then I'm going to head on over to this ad group here. It's called custom segment build. I'm going to add preloaded. I'll go to my audience here and I will edit those audience segments. We want to make sure we're on targeting up there and we will go and browse through what we made. I just mentioned this a second ago, but it's called a custom segment and we'll go down and find the, there it is, digital marketing URLs. 
Um, I thought I had called it something different, but it's that. So now we've got our digital marketing URLs coming through. Uh, we will be targeting them only, and we'll be putting it out onto anything Google owned and operated out there um, with the way I've got the setup with display. And there you go. You can target people based on where they might have been in the past. Pretty cool, pretty scary, but you know how to do it now. Get testing and have some fun. If you like this video, you will love Marketing O'Clock. It's our weekly digital marketing news podcast where we cover everything that happened in the past week that you need to know. It comes out every Friday, rain or shine. You can find it right here on YouTube or on your favorite podcast player. And if you need more help, didn't figure it out, just give us a call over at cypressnorth.com. We do this all day long and we can help you and your accounts.